Today I'm going to walk you through how to get into CINAHL, do a basic search, and save your results into a folder. I'm starting on the library homepage and I'm going to click on databases and when I go into databases I'm going to go to C for CINAHL. CINAHL is a really great database for health science topics. So when I go into CINAHL, I'm actually going to choose advanced search because when you're doing these kind of detailed searches with date ranges and needing full text, that's definitely the fastest way to go. Let's say we're going to look for some information on knee replacement. Let's look at a couple of options here that we can use to make our searching more efficient. First thing I'm going to do is limit my results to full text. That means only articles that actually exist in this specific database will show up. I'm also going to limit my year since we're doing the last five years. And I want to click this peer reviewed button if I need peer reviewed for my assignment. So I've got full text over here, my date range, and peer reviewed. And once I've done that, I scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit search. Now I've got about 3,000 some odd results. I'm not going to use all of them clearly, but as I'm looking through, I can look at the titles and sometimes I can see the keywords and say, yeah, I want to look at this one in a little more detail. So let's see here. Ooh, total, total knee replacement. That sounds promising. I could either open up the PDF full text right away, or I can put items in a folder so that I can save them for later. And putting something in a folder is actually pretty straightforward. We're going to click this folder button. So now you can see it's in my folder. Total knee replacements. Here's another total knee replacement one. So I'm going to click on that. Uh, opioid consumption. That seems pretty interesting. I'm going to put a few items in my folder that look promising. And I'm not going to go through every single article. At some point, I'm going to hit a point of diminishing returns. Diminishing returns, finding less and less useful content as you review more and more search results. And you can see your folder is up here in the top once you've put your items in it. And you can tell it has items in it because there's a little piece of paper sticking out of it. I'm going to click that folder button. Now I'm going to either export, save as file, or email. I tend to recommend email because then you know you got it. Now this is a temporary folder. Once you close this browser, the folder disappears. And if you leave it open for too long, it'll disappear too. So when you're done actively searching this time around, you can create a My EBSCO account. It's free and that will save your folder moving forward. But what I usually do is I look really quick at all my items and make sure that they all still look good. And if they don't, I can unselect them. And now I'm going to click the email button. That's my favorite button. I'm going to email it to myself. It does not have to be to your college email. It can be any email. It'll send me the PDF, which is great. I want all that info. Yes. And I'm going to click send. Let me pop over to my email real quick. Oh, hey, there it is. So here are all of the records I just emailed myself. And you'll notice in the record itself, there's a link. When I click that link, it'll take me right back into the database to look at the full article. So that's how you add items to do a basic search in CINAHL, add items to a folder, and then email that folder to yourself so you have it for later. Hope this tutorial helps.